Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 53 in chapter 10. In this chapter, we will talk about rotational motion. This one is a rotating hammer, and when we look at it, it looks like a rotating circle, right? So first one, the mass of this hammer is given, radius is given, initial angular velocity is stationary, so the initial linear velocity is zero. And the final angular velocity, we don't know, but we know the final linear velocity and the angle theta is good. So the total rotating is four revolution. So four turns, that means the angle theta is eight pi radius. Do you agree? Now the first one, we need to find the, what? We need to find the angle acceleration. It looks like if we want to find angle acceleration, how can we do that? We can see we know the theta. We know the initial angular velocity. It looks like if we know the final angular velocity, we can get the alpha in this way, right? Use this function. And then this one is not given. How can we get this final angular velocity? Consider this one. Linear velocity divided by r is the angular uh, velocity. So in this one, we use v divided by r, we get 22 radius per second. Now, the omega is get, so we input this omega inside theta is given, we can get the angular acceleration. The second one asks us to find the linear uh, acceleration. So linear acceleration is it because we just find the angular acceleration is 9.7 radius per second squared, right? So the linear acceleration is just the r times alpha. No, it is soft. The third part gets the central acceleration. So central acceleration is this one. Acceleration radian, right? It is v squared divided by r, central acceleration, or omega squared times r. There you can see omega is given, r is given, and also the v is given, r is given. So you can use e, uh, it's, it's up to you. You can choose which function you like to find the uh, central acceleration. The next one is ask you to the net force acted by the hammer. So the net force, we can consider Newton's second law. It is mass times the net acceleration. See, the acceleration, we have a linear acceleration and a central acceleration. So this acceleration is a, this acceleration is a vectors. So you can get the net acceleration as this one, agree? So it is acceleration linear square plus acceleration central square squared. This is a net acceleration times mass, you get the net force. The next one asks you to find the angle of these forces uh, with respect to the radius of the central circular motion. So this one, you need to find this angle theta. How can you do that? You can use the arctangent theta equal to acceleration linear divided by acceleration central. Agree, use this side divided by this side is the tangent theta, and then we input acceleration tangent and acceleration central, we get our final answer there. Thank you.